The life of a frog is a simple understanding. They eat, play, sleep, and give off lots of serotonin. And that is that. But did you know there's another creature out there that exists in this simple world full of simple things? Have a look around and try and spot something much different here. If it looks large and in charge, you, my friend, have found a Todd. These are Todds, and they appear to be much more handsome up. I mean, much bigger than your average frog. Apart from the unique spelling that Todds have compared to Toads, Todds have a much different purpose in life compared to other amphibians. So, if they have a purpose, what do they do then? Well, just like frogs, they also don't do much. Until the sun goes down. Compared to frogs, Todds are much more active at night and they will do everything a frog would do, but in the dark. And to understand that, we have to look at what is happening on the inside. What's fascinating is that Todds aren't that full of serotonin like frogs on the other hand are. In fact, Todds are only 25% full of serotonin, and that's because they have an actual concept of what life is all about, which means they can get a little sad sometimes. But on the other hand, Todds have a much larger appetite, because 50% of them is focused on the guts and the butts. Unlike frogs, Todds have a much sharper eye for their food and go for whatever their palate feels like. They are not afraid to go for the weakest to the most spiciest of foods. In fact, they can eat half of their body weight during one sitting, which means that frogs are always at a risk. But... This Todd chose not to. Now you're wondering, what possibly could be the last 25% of a Todd? You might be surprised, because they use the last 25% to look good. Why do they need to look good? Well, that's for a number of reasons. Todds are very sociable amphibians, just like frogs are, but very complex at the same time. Since their numbers are much smaller than frogs, this means their groups are much more niche, which means things can get complicated very easily. This could be from finding a mate to finding a good group. But in this case, it's because there's a tasty snack sitting right in the middle. So, how do Todds challenge each other in an event like this? Well, They do croaking contests. A Todd's croak can send vibrations through the ground or through the speakers as you're watching this. They use their croaks to make their presence known, and the Todd with the loudest croak tends to be the leader of that group. At midnight on a full moon, Todd's will perform a ritual called the croaking which requires all Todds in the area to croak at the moon. This is so they know where each and every one of them is at. But this moment can also be beautiful. You'll notice that the environment which the Todds live on is very marshy and muddy. Todds use the mud for all sorts of reasons, but this extra muddy area is mainly used for nesting. And this is where things can get a little dirty. Todds will bury their eggs in the ground for incubation. And by the time they hatch, small Todds will emerge from the ground. Unlike frogs, which go for a metamorphosis process, baby Todds are just smaller Todds and will eventually grow to their adult size and make their way to more stable grounds to start their new life. When the sun starts to rise is when the Todds call it a night. All Todds during this time find a cool, dirty spot they want to rest in, and once they found it, submerge themselves into that spot. Where there would be mud, water, sticks or leaves, there's always a good place to sleep, ready for the next day ahead and dreaming of the next snack they will encounter. But on the rare occasion, 
Otis, Todd likes to stay up and explore the world during the day so that they can see and explore places they wouldn't able to at night. And I think this Todd and this frog are going to get along well.